it's endangered. It takes years to bloom once, and when it finally flowers, it smells like rotting flesh. Quite enticing, right? CSU's corpse flower has been dormant for seven years, but it's expected to make a very stinky debut as early as this weekend. My building is essentially a hotel for research. Anywhere from sugar beet research, sugar cane research, all the way to soil scar burning. So Cosmo is his name. He's a Titan, Arium Titan. He is about eight years old. He is a corpse flower, and it's gonna bloom uh, in about Sunday, Monday time. So about another five, four or five days. So it takes about six to eight years for it to bloom for the very first time. So it, they don't bloom very often. It's a very rare occurrence. When they open up, they smell like rotting flesh is what I've been told. I personally haven't smelled it yet. And the purpose of that is to mimic a dead animal in the wild. So it wants to attract the carrion beetles and the decaying insects so they can pollinate itself. This is more like a large, large petal. It'll start to open up. This guy is gonna get a little bit taller and the flowers are actually down inside here. Um, we also have another researcher in here that currently um, Cosmo is being weighed to see him, how much he gains weight every day. And he has a thermal camera up there to watch how much energy it produces. So rumor has it, based on some data we've pulled up, it can reach about 90 degrees in the center of that plant. We have this opportunity, it's not gonna bloom very often, so we might as well throw some data in there and see what happens. <laughs> so it's, stop. So it's, it's 90 degrees in there, so it's hot. It's hot rotting flesh. So line right up. Uh, CSU is going to open the facility to the public whenever the plant blooms. You got to get there fast because uh, it's only real stinky for 12 to 24 hours and it only lasts for a couple of days.